thank you so much for tuning in. You're most definitely watching 3T TV, Thika's number one online news channel, where we are telling the Thika story as it is. My name is Juliet Mudhani, and today we are coming to you on location from Edgewood Country Place that is located in Maboromoko, which is off Gatanga Road. It is your one-stop shop where you can bring the family on Sunday for a family fun day. For the corporates as well, when you're looking for a team building location, this is it. If you want to have a meeting, this is the place to be, Edgewood Country Place. Be sure to check them out. Today, I'm bringing you Countdown 2022. This is a forum where we invite the men and women who are vying for different elective seats and posts in this uh, Thika town and largely Kiambu County, we have a conversation with them and they tell us their agenda, why they are vying and what exactly they want to do for us as the residents of Thika. So I hope that by the end of this segment, if you have not subscribed, we will have given you a good reason enough to. Let us dive right into it. Habari ya leo? Asante sana kwa kututembelea hapa 3T Asante. for making time kukuja kuongea na sisi. Okay. Uh, ningetaka tuanze by introducing yourself, tuambia majina yako na a background of your upbringing. Yeah. Uh, I, I am Miriam Waiwa, uh, nimezaliwa Thika na hapa majengo na nimelelewa Thika la nikatoka nikaenda nikasoma high school e, makueni then nikarudi dhika nikaanchiliwa in delmonde for 18 years i have been working in delmonde wewe ni mtu wa majei mimi ni mtu wa majei kuzaliwa hapa umezaliwa majei nimezaliwa majengo ndani primary ulisomea wapi primary nilien nilisomea kinyata primary lakini nika shift nikaenda makueni aha yeah. wewe ni mtu wa thika kabisa kabisa sasa the, the reason why we are here is because you're vying for a seat. Yeah. Tuambie, which seat are you vying for? Uh, mimi ni naomba kiti. Cha county assembly, hosto ward, Dika constituency. Member of county assembly. Yeah. Pale hospital ward. Yeah. Ambapo ndiyo uli grow up, eh? Mm, hapo ndiyo home. Eh. Kuzaliwa ndiyo kugro. Aha. Mm. Sasa, ini mara yako ya kwanza. Kabisa. Umejihusisha kwa siyasa. Mm -hmm. Mbona unataka? Why are you vying for this seat? Mbona umeona uingie kwa politics? Ni nini umeona unataka kubadilisha? Mimi kama mzaliwa wa Dhika na nikakulia Dhika, nimeona kuna challenges mingi sana ambazo wa mama, wazee na watoto wetu wanapitia. Wa mama tumekuwa tukisava a lot. Kustwango kulea watoto wetu. Ostoward iko na makampuni nyingi sana. Na hizo makampuni wanafanya ile kazi ya seasonal work na ile ya, ya contract unaandikwa kama yani upewi kazi kama permanent unaenda ile kazi imeonekana ile peace work wafumama wamefanya kazi ya peace work wamejaribu kushikanisha maisha wameshindwa na ndio maana mimi nataka kuemphasize on women wamama wamekuwa kiteseka sana tukianzia kwa makampuni kwenda kwa soko Kwa kila sekta, mama amebeba kila kitu. Amebeba mzee, amebeba awa youthi wetu. Sisi ndiyo kila kitu. Na ndiyo mana nataka kushika mama. Mama, wale wananisikiza osto ward. Nataka wa mama sisi tukai chini. Nitaenda ndo to do. Niyakikisha kwamba kila mama, ameinuka, ametoka chini. We are empowering. My party is empowerment and liberation party. I want to empower and liberate those people. Awa wenye wamekua kiteseka kwa makambuni na kwa soko, wakingangana kulea watoto in fact mimi mwenyewe nimesomesha mtoto watoto wangu na shida sana niko na mtoto cha hii chani ya gauss anafanya mtiani wa form 4 sa hii nakaa hapa na amesoma na shida sana nime hakuna ofisi sijajua ya mkubwa nikitafutia mtoto mbasari aweze kumaliza shule kwa sababu sisi wa mama hatuna kitu hatuna mahali tunaweza tafuta tukiwa tumetosheka tumeteseka kwa kampuni tumeteseka kwa mabiashara mm. Dio maana mimi niko inspire inspired kusimama hii kitu niweze kuokoa mama na watoto wetu pia wanaume wamekuwa na challenge sana sasa kuongea sana kuhusu wa mama peke yao kwa sababu si wa mama wako na challenge peke yao hawa wazee wamekuwa wamekosa hata mtu wa kuwapiki au ana mtu wa kuyashughulikia mimi kama mama ambaye ninajali maisha ya kila mtu nataka kujua wazee ni challenges gani hizo wamepitia 
nataka kujua wa mama nao ni challenge gani wamepitia kama vile nimesema hapa kitambo nataka kujua our youths pia kuna our orphans kuna orphans ambao wana mama mtu wana mama mtu wana baba hata wengine wana relatives najua sasa sisi huku tuko town wengine walizaliwa hata wengine wajua walizaliwa na nani so tunataka kuingia ndani kwa kila mtu personally tujue maisha ya kila mtu kwa wodi yangu nijue maisha huyu mtu hii mboma watu wanaishi aji na huyu mtu tutamuinua aji na huyu mtu tutaishi na yeye aji kwa sababu kuna wengine wamekuwa neglected kabisa unakuta pale town wanaomba omba wako hapa wana mtu wa kuwasaidia hata unashindwa sasa huku kuna mwe, kuna kuna mweshi mahali kweli kuna kuna MCA ama kuna MP ninataka tufanye kazi na MP wangu tufanye kazi na eh, women rep mwenye tutakuwa atakuwa amechaguliwa tufanye kazi na governor ambaye atakuwa amechaguliwa ndio tuweze kuinua thika Ostoward ikiwa inaongoza tuweze kuiweka kwa ile kiwango ambayo inafaa awesome sasa umesema umefanya Del Monte 18 years yeah do you have any leadership roles that you have ever played maybe kazini ama mahali kwingine kote in fact in Del Monte i was a lead lady nilikuwa nimesimamia hao wamama nimewa tumefanya tume kazi pamoja nikiwa nimewasimamia walinichagua nikiwa mtoto mdogo hata ingawa walikuwa mama yangu hao walikuwa wakubwa na miaka lakini waliweza kuona ninaweza ninaweza kuwaongoza na tukue na ile motisha na ile usikizana na ile ushirika ya kungroo pamoja kanisa pia nime mimi ni member wa African Inland Church makongeni ile kubwa iko pale this nine na mimi pia nimekuwa kiongozi wa wamama na nimekuwa nikimotivate wa mama sana sana wa mama nataka kuambia mambo ya politics ni kwa kanisa watu wanaona ni kama politics mm-hmm. ni kitu mbaya mm-hmm. lakini ki, politics ni leadership na leadership inatokana kwa Mungu so kama wewe uweze kuwa leader kwa kanisa then uweze kuwa leader mzuri kwa nchi yako mimi ni leader kwa kutoka kwa kanisa kutoka kwa nyumba yangu kutoka kila mahali popote naenda ninakuwa leader and i that is what, what i am going to give you us to award people So una, una encourage hata wa mama waingie kwa hili. Nimewa encourage kabisa waingie kama unasikia una wewe ni leader. Come up na utu, tutafute sisi tutakuwa in power na tutakusaidia pia kungoro. So Miriam. Yes. Uh, once elected, if you get elected as a member of county assembly wa hospital ward. Yeah. Ni nikakati gani uko nao ya kusaidia wafanye biashara? Sing to it that hospital ward iko na wafanya biashara wengi kuna there are two markets there wafanya biashara ni wengi kwa hii ward utawasaidiaje mimi nikichaguliwa Ostward kama MCA kuna hii market inaitwa uh, Jamhuri Market iko Ostward kuna Moi Market iko Ostward na iko na watu wengi sana hapo wamama wameja na hapo wazee wameja na yudhi watu wameja hapo vile nitawasaidia hawa mimi mwenyewe nitaingia kwao nitaenda jamhuri niingia mimi mwenyewe niongea one on one with each and every person there wanielezee zile shida wako nazo wanielezee vile wenye wanataka wafanyiwe kwa soko yao pia nitaenda moi market nitaingia ndani nitakaa na hao watu wenye wako hapo ndani tutaongea vile wanataka kusaidiwa alafu tutakama hapo na vile tutafanya ndio tuweze kuwasaidia waweze kuendelea vizuri. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. That is good. Uh, what else uh, unaweza kuongezea hapo? Ninajua kutakuwa na shida ya security. Security town saa hii najua market huwa inafungwa 6 ama saa ikienda sana inakuanga saa moja. Uwezi enda Jamhuri Market upate watu wamefungua usiku na ni kwa sababu ya lack of security. Tutafanya kazi na MP wetu extending to the governor na hata to the national government tujue tunaweza saidia aji watu waweze kupata 24 hour marketing waweze kuuza vitu zao we unaweza kuja vika usiku saa sita na uweze kufanya market uweze kununua chenye unataka kununua kwa hivyo tutafanya hivyo ndio watu wetu waweze kuinuka juu tukifanya 24 hours watakuwa vizuri na financially tutakuwa stable mm. na issue ya maji pia tutaingia hapa tuangalie maji wanapata aji maji ni kubebewa na mkokoteni ama maji iko throughout wana wako na mferenji ama wanatoa wapi maji kama market inafaa kuwa na maji safi inafaa kuwa e, na maji ambayo ina, ime, iko kwa mferenji kila mtu ako kama ni stolo kila mtu ako na mferenji yake hapo anatoa maji vile anataka wale wanakuja pia wanapata mahali safi kwa sababu tukikosa maji hatuwezi tukapata usafi kwa market maybe unataka kula matunda una kitu ya kuosha nayo 
unashindwa ni market ina gani kwa hivyo tutafanya usafi na itaanzia kwa maji pia tutakuja up na takataka za hizo soko zote zinatolewa aji ama tunakaa na takataka hapo mwezi mzima kunanuka kunafanya yani uweze kaingia disfilth tutafanya jambo tujue tutaweza aji kutoa garbage hata kama ni kila siku njioni ama ni kila wiki tutakaa chini na watu wangu ambao ni watu wangu watanielezea mweshi tufanye hivi tufanye kila siku tuchukue vijana wetu watatutolea hivi tuchukue mgari hizi za county tutafanya hii kazi nayo na tutaweza kusafisha market zetu na tutaweza kufanyia mahali safi mm, awesome yeah. sasa uh, hospital ward uh, imekuwa na leaders wengine before eh? yeah. uh, what is your vision for hospital ward in light of priority areas yeah. if you are elected a member of county assembly for hospital ward what's your vision for that ward first of all if I, as i have said Hospital ward imekuwa na leaders ni kweli wengine lakini mimi nataka kuwa tofauti sana na wao mimi nimekwambia ni mama nimekulia mashinani pale majengo na mpaka ya makongeni hakuna mahali sijaingia hospital ward inaanzia kutoka pale kashagi landless kupanda juu so hiyo kashagi na madharau ni zile slums ziko hospital ward zile ambazo watu wengi hata hawaingii ndani mimi kama mama na kama mwenye niko inspired ninataka niko na hiyo kusaidia ndani yangu nataka kuenda nyumba kwa nyumba do to do nikae chini na hao watu tuongee tujue shida zao tujue kutoka chini nyenye ni nini na wasumbua hapa ni maji tunajua tutafanya nini ni kazi za watoto wetu in fact watoto wengi pale sana wamekuwa nimetembea wanakula miraa wako huko ndani wamekunywa pombe nilikuwa nimefikiria pale tuweke kama ile counseling tukue na to come up with a counseling place tukue na tuweke mahali tuweze ku watoto wetu ndio tuwaweze kuwatoa kwa hiyo kwa sababu wameingiwa sana hao youth na hiyo maisha hiyo maisha yani kama wajiwezi ni kama there is nothing else we can do tuweze ku then we bring up and we empower them mm. Mm. that is that is awesome ni vizuri ku include uh, mm -hmm. ku include youth pia mm -hmm. mm. sasa pia hospital ward imekuwa na leaders wengine mm. uh, before ni nini utafanya tofauti mimi kama mwesh mgeni mwenye ameingia sasa hospital ward nita make sure watoto wetu wamesoma vizuri nita make sure wa mama wamepata health facilities ambazo ambazo ni affordable yani una, mama anaweza kuwa anaweza enda hospitali ambayo anaweza aka afford yes tuko na hii level 5 lakini nataka kwa sababu hiyo iko na a lot of people watu wamejaa hapo kutoka muranga kutoka kila mahali unakuta hata mnatumwa muende nje kwa private sectors ambapo wewe una pesa kama ni extra uwezi enda kupiko pesa extra ya 15000 tunataka kuweka kila kama host what tuweke ingine kama level 4 ama level 3 ambapo tunaweza tukasaidia wa mama wetu tunaweza tukasaidia wazee wetu tunaweza tukasaidia watoto wetu hapo kwenye unaweza uka afford ile kitu uko nayo hapo unaweza uka afford unaweza pewa dawa bila kuambiwa enda ukanunue tuweze tuweze ku grow up hospital ward ikuwe vile kama njina venye iko hmm. ikuwe kama mali inaweza hospitalize watu vizuri na watibiwe vizuri na wakuwe na kila kitu ambacho wanahitaji kwa mboma hmm. Hmm. now seeing to it that uh, this is your first the first time that you're vying mm -hmm. and you are a woman the challenges uh, gani umeface uh, katika hii safari yako ya siasa so to speak being a woman that's great because Ostward ajawahi kuwa na woman amevai hiyo kitia account assembly Ostward mm. mimi ndiye wa kwanza na mimi ndiye nitakuwa wa kwanza wale wengine wakifuata nyuma kwa sababu ndio make sure watakuja mm. na kama mama nimesema nitashika mama mama nimekwambia amebeba mzee na amebeba watoto mm. mimi kama mama nita make sure nimeenda kwa kila mboma kwa sababu mboma ni ya mama na nitafanya kila kitu ambayo inafaa wa mama waweze kuinuka na mboma zetu ziweze kusimama. Mm. Na sasa ni challenges gani ume uki, kwa hii harakati ya siasa? Mm -hmm. Kuna challenges umepitia? Sana sana. Kwanza eh. financially mm -hmm. mambo na pesa. Mm. Una pesa pesa ni kila kitu. Mm. Tumekuwa na challenge ya pesa sana. Na kwanza mimi ninawashukuru nyinyi 3T kwa sababu ya kutupatia platform. Wengine hatungeweza kwa sababu financially we are not stable atungeweza bila nyinyi na ninawashukuru sana na ninawaombea sana na kwa sababu nitapata hii kiti 
nitarudi na nitawainua muendelee kuinua wale wengine wako chini mm -hmm. na pia wale wengine pia tutawaleta mweze kuinua mm -hmm. mimi nimekwambia niko na hiyo roho ya kutaka kusaidia so nikiona mali nasaidikia naenda naleta wale wangu tunasaidika pamoja <laughs> Okay, that is awesome. Yeah. Uh, sasa tukimalizia. Yes. Mm, Ningetaka uambie watu wa hospital ward. Ki to give them your parting shot, watu wa hospital ward, wana kusikiza. Watu angu wa hospital ward. Mimi kama mama yenu, nimekuja mbele yenu kuwaomba kura. Waze, watoto angu, na wamama wenzangu. Na waomba kura, ndiyo tuweze kumufu pamoja. Nitawainua, mungu watanisaidia. Mimi ni kiongoza mbae ninaongopa mungu. I am an evangelist, ninaubiri neno la mungu. Na tutakuwa pamoja. Na kila kitu ambacho mutaitaji, muna, muna kuja kwangu direct, na tutakuwa pamoja na nyingi. Na waomba kura, come this year, August, munipigie kura, na mimi nitawashukuru. Tutaita pati, kwa tutukuje kusherekea pamoja. Sandeni. <laughs> Asanti sana. Na sisi hapa 3T, we will shoot all the best in your endeavors. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is Miriam, who is vying for member of county assembly in hospital ward. I have been your host, Juliet Mudoni. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, take care.